How do you celebrate after such a, a great week like you've had, man? You got three of the three of the biggest names in baseball, almost a billion dollars in contract. How do you how do you celebrate after a long week like that? Well, the biggest celebration is that you get to call the players you represent, let them know that they're. Uh, Something they've worked so hard for is complete, so it's really a great thrill. Is it fair? Like a lot of teams are scared to, to negotiate with you. Do you think that's a fair that they should be afraid of you oh, or no? Oh, I don't think anybody is. When you represent great players, everybody wants to talk with you. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, so, so kind of baseball related, but not. So Bernie Sanders took a shot after uh, Garrett Cole signed that contract, saying if we could, you know, sign something for 324. Uh, million. We should, teachers should be able to get sixty thousand a year. What do you think about that? Is that is that fair? I, I don't think Mr. Sanders took a shot. I think he brought the fact that in America we recognize greatness, and we teachers are a great part of the American greatness, and we should acknowledge them with an appropriate compensation system, which doesn't exist right now. Do they need a better negotiator? Like, a, do they need? Do the unions need like a Scott Boris to? Kind of, no. to I, I can't address the competency of their. It's just state government. What we do is society. We need to reward the people that teach and generate the next generation of, of brilliance for America. But and it's very important. I guess he's, his point is basically we're overpaying players, but we're not. We're not paying teachers. I don't. I don't think he's say, suggesting that anyone of greatness is overpaid. I just think he says that a, an additional quadrant of greatness needs to be acknowledged, like players are being acknowledged.